All right, welcome back. Good morning. In this app, we are creating this is 1.1.7 uh, Sprite Smash. And in this app, we're going to have a sprite image bounce randomly around a canvas. And we are going to try to tap that sprite and when we tap the sprite we will get points so we have uh, a label and a timer up top and we're gonna have a canvas and image sprite extra credit for people that take a picture of themselves you cut it out and gimp add transparency and put yourself into the video game here okay and then we want to customize reset button and gimp and we're going to add some fun stuff. We're going to add a player to play a sound. We're going to add uh, voice to text. Um, Iris is going to come on. And we need a timer for a clock. And uh, we're going to just have some fun with this. This is a great app. So here we go. Let's start to build. Let's go to our layouts. I'm going to drag in a horizontal arrangement. I'm going to make this arrangement um, width is fill parent. And... I'm going to go background color is none because I'm going to put in a really cool. There is my label, and I need a label for the clock in here. I'm going to go ahead and center this horizontal arrangement. So I'm going to align horizontally center. Let's go back and name this one. This one is called LBL score. And I'm going to come down here to score. The text is score colon zero. Enter. Probably want to blow that up just a little bit. 24 font. And you may want to give that a fun color, something like that. Cayenne's fun. Uh, let's go to uh, LBL time. And this time is zero. And its font is 24. It'll be L time. Okay. I'm going to get in here. You know, I think we forgot a horizontal arrangement. I just like to use them. So I'm going to go width and height on this one is still parent. And I probably need this one for my, for my canvas. So I'm going to go to drawing. I'm going to drag my canvas into that one. We're going to rename this canvas CNV Game Board. Okay. Fill parent on its width. Fill parent on its height. That looks good. I'm going to go ahead and put in another horizontal arrangement. This horizontal arrangement is still parent. Its background color is none. User interface is a button. And this button is going to be called BTN Reset. And this button is going to be with Fill parent. Text is going to be none. And we're going to make a custom button in GIMP. Okay. That is my screen. Let's go ahead and have some fun here. What do we need? A 
I don't have a height on it because it's the button is going to be a 300 by 30 button, and then that'll fill in your height for your horizontal range. What? Yeah, look at your engineering design. That's a reset button, right? It won't let you delete stuff. Okay. I don't know. Maybe try to reset it. All right, so I'm going to put in a player here so we can play some music. I'm going to put in text-to-speech. Um... Uh, yes, yeah, so let's put in a clock. So that's down in sensors. Let's put in a clock. Um, what else do I have up there? Player. Voice recognizer. Yeah, let's go have some fun. Put in a voice recognizer. Maybe we could say start, stop. Yeah. Media. Speech recognizer. That's what it is. Well, uh, that reminds me, if we're going to have voice, we need to have a button for voice. Okay. So let's go into um, user interface. We need a button. I'm going to drag that down here. Yeah, to the last box. This is going to be BTN voice. And really, I don't want anything in here. I'm just going to go ahead and make this like a round button. So its width and height is going to be uh, 30 pixels, and its width is going to be 30 pixels. And I'm going to make this an oval button, okay? And that'll we'll we'll go ahead and get an oval button from, and that looks a little small, doesn't it? So maybe let's make that uh, 60. Yeah, let's make that 60 by 60, and then that that'll tell us that. This reset button needs to be, uh, let's see, 300 minus 60 is going to be 240, right? We can make this 240 by 60. Okay, does that make sense? This is going to be our reset button. So this reset button, if you guys really want to know, um, the height is going to be 60, and the width is going to be 240. Okay. So that is my app. And um, that's how we build the screen GUI for. Um, Yes, we need an image sprite. Thank you. Uh, very good. Let's go to drawing and media. We need an image sprite in here. Okay. Yep. I'm going to call this image sprite me. Remember, if you're putting yourself in there. Okay. All right. And um, I'll count this as a wrap today. This is how you build your GUI. And then we'll come back and do some more uh, GIMP work.